We're at the new office on the square in Lawrenceville. Today we're going to take a tour, walk around, catch you guys up on the status of construction. A lot has been happening. It's great to see some of the final pieces being put into place and you can start to really feel the space and, um, and start to understand what it's going to be like when this thing is finally finished. One of the big things that has happened is we are now conditioned, so the air conditioning is running and we've moved the old floorboards back up to the office. If you guys remember, we took these out a long time ago and this is heart pine flooring. And the flooring guy, what he did, these boards were a little bit wider originally, but he went in, he replaned the top surface and he put these new tongue and groove patterns uh, on, on each side and um, these grooves on the bottom, which should help Go around and notice in your house, usually this time of year, especially if you're on a crawl space, your wood floor will actually cup when it absor absorbs moisture. So we've got the, the wood floor up here. It's acclimating to the humidity of the space. This right here is our utility room. We've got our hot water heater in, which is fantastic. And then we got all of our uh, internet and cabling hooked up. So we've actually got Wi-Fi right now, which is really cool. You can see some of the controls for the lights, very sophisticated lighting system in here. So this is this Nest learning thermostat and man, I'm really learning how to use it. It's, it's incredible. You can't just set it on a temperature. It's, it's really smart. So it's trying to always save money. This right here will be an iPad. The iPad's gonna drive everything. We've got some um, security cameras here and it'll drive all the lights. They're all wireless. And then the guys have started putting in the speakers as well. So we've, um, we've got a speaker up there and uh, got speakers in, in all rooms really in, in the building. And then all that runs back to right here, which is our speaker cabinet. So we actually got that hooked up. We're not quite done with, with all the speakers. So these are the restrooms. The guys got the tiles on the wall. Really looks fantastic. We've got some of the old wood, um, this is lockers right here and the shelving installed and got the shower over here and working. Just really great. You need to adjust that light a little bit to hit the top of the cabinets. Having a little bit of trouble, I'll show you guys one of the toilets, figuring out how that goes on. It actually hangs off the wall. Got some controls up top. And uh, here's the sink. The sink is super neat. Works really well. So we've got two restrooms. We're trying to figure out these frames for the sliding doors. If you guys remember, we made the sliding doors out of some of the old ceiling boards, the same boards that you see in front of you on the cabinets. And um, so we're gonna, gonna try to figure out how to probably make that out of some of the old wood right now. So here's the toilet, he's upside down, but he's got these, basically got water in and water out. And um, this thing's Italian. <laughs> so we're, we're trying to figure out how that works. Got a little bit of, I wanna try to get, try, there's a little bit of gap over on the right. I wanna try to get that working, but then we gotta get our mirrors up. The mirrors have some lights in them as well. So here we are in the back. Um, actually, I'm still designing on this. I've got to uh, design some cabinets that we're gonna make out of the old wood that inserts in here. And all of the, we've got a, a dishwasher in front of you, a trash compactor here, and a refrigerator right here. All that's sitting in the warehouse. And then of course this right here is our glass painting. Still gotta work on that as well. It's just like this is never done. <laughs> um, we do have our bar height supports right here. These look really fantastic. So this wood, um, I pulled a piece out of my neighbor two doors down and um, these were some of the old, I can't remember, I believe these were these were actually the floor, floor joists. They could have been in the ceiling, but you can see all of the old um, nail holes and, and everything and they're just really this one I don't know almost looks like it got burned look really fantastic looking um, so those will support uh, a high countertop and then we've got some custom um, custom seats well, it's stools stools that we're trying to put in there this gap bothers me I don't know if I want to leave that or not some wood tends to expand and contract maybe it's okay thought about trying to get that a little bit tighter um, out here in the back, we've been working on getting more coats on the fountain. The fountain has been an extreme challenge. Somewhere it's leaking, so um, we, we keep putting 
more and more coats on this. So all through here, the coating and then the, the black coating in the distance. It's supposed to have a dry week this next week, so we'll try to get another coating on there. Back here, we got our frame up for the back canopy, which is fantastic. You can see it, it goes out onto the street. So there'll be a door right in front of you and um, you'll buzz a button and you'll be able to come into the courtyard. And so you, you kind of, this again is sort of that compression that we talk about in a lot of our projects compressing a person and then you'll walk over this bridge and then down into uh, the building. Of course the gargoyle is working, really looks fantastic. I, I'm ready, we've got him draining into this bucket right now. So what happens is all of the condensate drains through his mouth. So during the day it's gonna drip all the time, which is fantastic. I don't think I'll have to add any sort of, um, a lot of times you add an autofill on a fountain I don't think I'll need that at all, just because of the water that evaporates during the day. Up here, the guys went through and took out some of the old crumbling brick. If uh, you all remember, we have, I think it was six layers of sealer on this brick in the, in the bottom here. So we've just been replacing pieces. This is some of the newer uh, brick that we added right here that we got from the, the building in front of the square. And then these are some of the newer bricks. Some of these I pulled out of the alleyway when they were, they were just they were just under the dirt when they were digging in the dirt. Um, I'm worried. You can still see some of the bricks down at the bottom. You can tell by the orange color. So it, this may be a process of always pulling bricks out and replacing. But I think it turned out nice. I, th I think that it it really looks great. Um, up here at the top is, is some of the newer brick we added. I had a stain guy come and he stained it, which I think makes it look better. It was, if you guys remember, it was a very orange brick. We were trying to match the actual old brick, which turns out is from 1899 over here. Um, I think I'm gonna go back and stain the mortar joints darker. I, I just really want that to kind of go away. Um, what's weird over here, I can't tell. It's like the up lights. I don't know. I can't tell if the uplights are on. I don't think the uplights are on over here. I think we're just getting some, some bleed over. Um, so it's it's hard to it's hard to see. But it, it was a little bit of disappointing. I I, uh, I put these bricks up years ago, and I just didn't have enough old bricks. And um, if if there was anything I, I would redo, that would probably be it. But man, it would be such a pain to to try to replace those now. So up here in the front, we got the old hardware on. So you can see the old door hardware here. It really, really looks nice. It's just this old brass hardware. And then we've got the old um, old hinges, got a few screws we got to put in there. I've, you wouldn't have had Phillips head screws, so I found some flat head screws um, to, put, to put in there. So gotta, gotta figure that out, but it does latch and work. All right, let's let's go upstairs. I'll just show you guys that wood floor guys have been working over the last week. We're getting close. It's just there's always at the end just so so much detail. So as you come up these stairs again, it's supposed to confine you, so you, you feel the 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 walls um, on the left as you come up. There's going to be a glass wall that will divide our conference room from the rest of the space. And then of course the rest of the space is gonna be open. And this space is really fantastic. So we are gonna put AstroTurf, or you don't really call it AstroTurf anymore, but it's um, turf like you'd see on all these rooftops now. Or actually, that's gonna be our material on the inside here. And it's gonna extend out onto the back deck and then extend on the front. And then we've got a little bit of fake wood tile that's gonna go over on the left. We still got to make our benches in the front. The next thing to do is the steel guys got to get out here. We've got a three steps down and a guardrail that runs around the outside. We've got to get that in in order to um, in order to get the the turf in, and then they'll install. Once that's in, then they'll install a walkway that'll go to the back stairs. You can see the canopy in the distance. So we've gotten the. Um, We've got the actual canopy in. We've got to put some framing in there and, uh, and finish that. 
But the space is just really nice. Uh, again, we have a nano wall in front of you that can open up and this can be an open air rooftop, which it's been so hot recently. It hadn't been the time of year, but there are a lot of days where you can come in and uh, actually do that, get great views of the square. And now Lawrenceville's talking about having more events up on the square as well. I, I guess the businesses are interested in doing that. I, it's, in, it's interesting when they first did the park and they started doing everything down there, they moved events from the square to the park, which is great. The park can hold a lot more people, but it just pulled that activity off of the square. So it's good to see them thinking about the businesses. We did some welding. We have a plate that we welded on the end here. That looks great. And um, here's the, the new wood floor. So this is a raised floor. And um, we ended up going with OSB. And a lot of the thinking behind the architecture and the space is that you're exposing what normally is not exposed. So um, this OSB flooring, you guys see it in houses, it, it's usually underneath your carpet or, or even your wood floor, whatever you're putting in your house. So um, we decided to expose that here, which really, really looks nice. Um, over against the wall, this is the wood floor guy's idea. We're going to have a little bit of the slate detail. You can see the old roof pops in right there. And we saw that in the drawings. I just didn't know how to address it. We were going to box around it, but his idea was just to leave it and then infill the area that sinks below the floor in the distance with the slate, which, man, I think that was just a wonderful idea. Of course, right here we tried our, um, this is our, knife edge detail i'll never use this detail again on a project it's just for us it's okay it's just very very difficult to install and um, you can see here it's, it's been difficult to um, get it straight now we've got an edge piece that runs across the top that we haven't put on and that'll that'll really straighten it nicely but really really looks fantastic in here the conduits turned out great got some lights we need to install over the conference room But yeah, guys, that's it. That was a tour of the office. Appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Take care. Here's some bonus footage. I decided to walk out back, take a picture of this canopy. You can see how the canopy is going to really frame the entry. Over here on the left is where I'm going to do a mural. I've been doing some sketches for that. I got some ideas. Um, we do have an outlet up high. I'm going to put a, some type of sign logo on the granite wall as well. And then this is two parking spaces. So I've got to spend a little bit of time figuring out how we're going to lay that out. You can see all our utilities through here. I was real disappointed in the way that they put the cabling. But uh, we got a little concrete work in the back as well. All right, guys, that's it. See ya.